Hello, everybody. I'm Grandpa, and this is who? Evie. Evie, short for Evelyn. Today, we're going to show you how to make white bread out of uh, the ingredients you see here. It's going to be a simple recipe, and I'll put the right down because I'm going to put it all on the screen. And then at the end of this, we're going to show you our completed rolls and some tips on proper care and storage of the bread that you just made. So, what we need is just a KitchenAid mixer, flour, water, some honey, olive oil, yeast, and salt. So, first, we're going to start with six cups of flour. You want to put that in there for me, sweetie? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we got that out of the way. Did you wash your hands, too? No? I, I didn't to. either. Yeah, heck with that. All right. You should put wash your hands. All of this in? Huh? Should I put all of this? Put all of it in there. Yeah. All righty. So six cups of flour, three per loaf. Now let's put in two teaspoons of salt. Your loaf should look like at this stage. I'm going to 
pull the, the dough hook off. And if you see, it should be scour the, the, the bowl clean. And then the hook should just pull right out. And it should be fairly clean as well. It gives you an idea of what the texture should look like. So, sweetie, give me this. I'm going to just take this up temporarily in a big bowl of dough. And I'm going to spray the shortening inside this bowl. Because what we're going to do is let it rise in here. And this prevents it from sticking to the sides. So, we're going to put a towel over that. We should need it though. No, not yet. But we're going to put it in the oven. Just in the oven, in the oven. And in winter time when it's chilly, you could probably turn the oven on for a few minutes to put some heat in there. Other than that, all it's doing is provide a safe space for it to rise. And then we'll leave that in there for about 45 minutes to an hour. We'll check on it in 45 minutes. It should be about twice its size. It's been 45 minutes since we put the bread in the oven to rise. Let's have a look. As you can see, it's like a big pillow, what it was before, about twice its size. And since I sprayed vegetable oil inside this, this bowl, it'll fall right out. Okay? So what I'm going to do is spank it a little bit, and then I'm going to cut it in half. Into two loaves. Yeah. Well, you're going to have fun now. Okay, so here's your loaf. Here's mine. And then we're going to knead it. Oh, that feels weird. It feels weird. This is fun, isn't it? Yeah, well, okay, that's, that's good for everybody to know. <laughs> and then do it like this, watch me. You just keep folding it and then push it down. Fold it again and push it down. Why do you need bread? Well, the first time you let the bread rise, the yeast are like little Pac-Man characters and they eat sugar. That's how they make the gases that expand the bread. But unfortunately they can't move around in the flour to find more sugar to eat. So when you need the bread, you're rearranging all those little Pac-Men so they can find new sugar to feast upon, and that's going to rise your bread inside the pan. So we've got a couple of nonstick pans here. Okay, now do like I do. Flatten it out. Flatten it out. Okay. I should have gotten a rolling pin. A rolling pin? No. Okay. So this is how I do it. I flatten it out. It took me a long time to learn how to do this, so I'll, I'll grant you some slack on that. Now watch, sweetie. Look, see? And then roll it. Remember how you, you knead it and you roll it. And mark it with the bean. And put it in the oven. Okay. And that's what a loaf looks like. And then you put it in the pan. Alright? Oh, that looks good. Look at that. Huh? Huh? Now we're going to put those in the oven again. Another 45 minutes, and we'll show you what we have. We're, well, it's been almost an hour now since we put the, the bread in the oven to rise. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come around and bring the camera around and show you what that should look like. Now, it's probably risen a little, little higher than I wanted to. Usually you want to get about an inch, inch and a half above the, the bread pan, but I got distracted with some other things, so uh, it was probably like an hour or five minutes of rising time. So let's have a look at that. And you can see, it looks just like a loaf of bread should look. And what I'm going to do is break all the rules now. I'm going to bake this at 350 degrees for 35 minutes, but I'm not going to take the bread out to preheat. I'm just going to fire it up, okay, and then uh, set it for 35 minutes.
and that's all you have to do. And we'll come back and see what this bread looks like in 35 minutes. Okay. Well, our loaves are done baking. Let's take them out and see what they look like. These are non-stick pans. Sometimes you gotta coax them a little bit. Well, and I always recommend that you leave it on a rack for at least a couple hours and then uh, this one doesn't want to come out. And uh, let's make sure all the gases escape and it's fully cooled. And then what I recommend is you bag it up in paper for at least the first 24 hours so that that process can continue. Otherwise, moisture will build up in your uh, the outside of the loaf, cause it to spoil. So you don't want that to happen. So. so there you have it. Two beautiful loaves of bread. Family will enjoy if they don't go nuts during the baking process of spoiling that fresh, fresh bread. You gotta shake them away from it and uh, enjoy. Thank you.